Waking up early to get those Boxing Day bargains was likely a lot more painful for shoppers who stayed up late into the night to watch the World Juniors, but it was well worth it. In the opening game, Canada beat Germany. As Francis Savaggio explains, as the NHL lockout drags on, more and more heartbroken hockey fans are switching their support from the pros to the amateurs. For 35 straight years, Calgary's Max Major Midget Tournament has showcased some of the best midget hockey in the world. It's a popular holiday tradition, and with no NHL, this anniversary year may be more popular than ever. It's good hockey. The kids are, they're really like the game, love it, and uh, I'm a little tired of the pros. We love our hockey, and this is the only way to get it these days. Tournament organizers have even made contingency plans in case crowds get too big, just in case. We've anticipated on plans to close buildings. If it gets too full, we have to be able to close the doors due to fire regulations. So we've, we've been really proactive as far as preparing for that and kind of hoping some of that cut does come through. Sports bars are also planning for busier crowds. Hockey fanatics miss televised games so much, they're flocking to bars to watch the repeats of the World Junior Championship games played overnight in Russia. We have people coming in because, you know, the 4 o'clock games are 4 in the morning, and then I think they're on at 1 in the afternoon, so we do replay and stuff, and it does get a lot busier. And, you know, we notice a spike in sales when the hockey games are on, of course. Hockey fans are desperate. You gotta live with hockey. That's why we're in Canada. But as the NHL cancels even more games, some of that love for pro hockey is fading. It's part of what happens in, 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 uh, in the wintertime, right? It's, it's what you do. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to watching it, but uh, I won't be, uh, you know, I won't be standing in the front of the line to buy tickets, I don't think. Some may never go back at all. I think I'd be one of those guys, yeah, yeah. I'd rather come and watch where they love the game. Francis Silvaggio, Global News, Calgary.